So what does 500 plus hours of gameplay in Elden Ring look like? In my personal case, it's an absolute mess. We are going to go through it. And starting off with loading into a game, I have seven characters on this game with one of the characters having over 500 hours itself. And yes, after 500 plus hours, I am only level 228. So when you jump into the game, just to give a bit of a comparison, you jump in with a low level character, you have this sort of an inventory, nice and clean, certain armor, weapons, all that sort of stuff, you go to a site of grace, you have barely anything compared to a character that has a lot of hours in your menu at a site of grace. You go into your chest, and this is an early character, so I'm still getting tooltips and stuff pop up. But you have a look at the weapons. There's absolutely nothing in any of these categories. And then when you jump over to a character that has a lot of hours, when you've put over 500 hours into the game, you have a much more filled out chest. And when you look at your weapons as an example, you have a lot of choice there. However, even after 500 plus hours, there are still things in this game that I do not have. Part of the reason is because I'm a content creator, I will explain it as we go through the video. But looking at my level and the fact that I am level 228, a lot of people with this many hours would have a character that's got, I don't know, maybe 450 plus levels. Elden Ring caps at level 713, every single stat can go up to 99. So being level 228 after over 500 hours is because there is not much rune farming being done by me unless it's absolutely needed. If I want to boost up my intelligence, I'll go grab some runes. If I want to boost my dexterity, I'll do the same thing. Other than that, I've spent a lot of hours on this game just putting different builds together. I have done a lot of videos for this game. In a lot of cases, there's been three videos a day. The main reason you don't see anywhere near as much content at the moment is because I do feel a little bit burnt out. I've done it to myself. I spent so much time getting content out for this game. And a lot of it was just sitting there in menus, looking through weapons and armor pieces and finding out what's going to synergize the best with something else that I want to run. If we take a look at the map, a lot of the exploration is done. Most of the sites of graces are unlocked. I'm not entirely sure if I have them all, but even if you look at the crumbling Farum Azula, most of it is done. If you think of bosses, most of the bosses in the game have been dealt with. I've taken down Elden Beast and Radagon, the final bosses. I have the ability to go into New Game Plus, but I haven't done it because it's the same thing again. Enemies are stronger, a bit more of a challenge, you get extra runes, you have to go and explore absolutely everything again, and I just don't have the motivation to do that. I enjoy having the map uncovered, like fully explored, just because it makes it that much easier to put videos and content and stuff together. But when you look at the bosses, there are lots and lots, there are well over 100 in this game, and there are still some that I have not taken down with over 500 hours of gameplay. The best example to give you is a lot of the catacombs, or at least some of the catacombs. I haven't been anywhere near. I have put lots and lots and lots of builds together. They range from strength to dexterity, faith, intelligence, there are so many. And this character is an astrologer. I have barely touched intelligence for a long, long time. I'm low on larval tiers, which are used to respec all your stats. I've put most of my time into arcane builds because blood loss is so strong. It has been since arcane got fixed, and there's not been much balance in since. So the only way really for me to respec and go back to intelligence is to start new game plus, and there's something I don't really want to do. But from your talismans, your weapons, your armor, there are so many build possibilities in this game, it's fantastic. And when it comes to making your builds, you obviously need weapons, and that's why, as I showed you, there are lots and lots of weapons. There are some duplicates, not too many though. And these weapons have such a big variety. Some of them are used to dual wield, some of them are better by themselves, some of them can work really well with other types of weapons. But you will have, after 500 hours, a lot of stuff in your inventory. When it comes to even staffs, there are 10 staffs that I've got. 
when it comes to your armor, there are so many different things and shields and everything like that. This has all been accumulated over a lot of time in the game. But this is what you can expect and what it looks like to have over 500 hours in Elden Ring. You can just see there, there are so many pairs of legs. And then even coming into the talismans, I've had to put some of them away because you have things like Pearl Drake Talisman plus one and over on the other side in my inventory I've got plus two. So there's different levels to some of the talismans and you'll see that I've got quite a lot of talismans as well. Even though there are still some things that I'm locked out of due to not going through to New Game Plus and either killing an NPC or progressing too far and locking myself out of it. Even in the Flask of Wondrous Physic, there are a lot of different tiers. And these are obtained by taking down the Erd Tree Avatar bosses at the bottom of a minor Erd Tree. But there's so much, like so many options in this game, there's so much variety. After 500 hours, you are looking at so many different builds and things you can put together. If you want to get around the map, it's so easy because of the exploration. And you can do this a lot quicker. Some of my time has been sitting there whilst I'm editing videos and stuff, and whilst I'm watching other videos to get some research on a build so that I can make it as good as I possibly can. But the one main thing about putting over 500 hours into Elden Ring is in my like personal experience, not a lot has changed at all in terms of the skill. Some of the bosses in this game, I sat there and cheesed because I just felt I had to get to the end boss and do all that sort of stuff. Radagon, the penultimate boss, I didn't even kill properly. I got him to stand there and I just used Comet Azure to take him down and go straight through to Elden Beast. So part of my experience has been ruined like from doing that or by doing that and i haven't got to learn some of the move sets and things like that so at some point if there is motivation to go through to new game plus there is still so much more i can explore but just in general like a little recap after 500 plus hours of gameplay in elden ring i've done a little bit of rune farming most of the exploration is done most of the bosses have been dealt with hundreds of builds have been covered there's even quite a few builds that I've put together and just didn't feel worthy of, like, they didn't feel good enough or strong enough to put into a video. But I'd say I'm definitely into the hundreds of builds covered, whether I've showed videos for them or not. You'll have a load of weapons, you'll have a load of armor, you will have a load of experience, but that don't necessarily turn into skill. I've seen people taking down bosses at room level 1 and all that sort of stuff. Like crazy, crazy fights, patience, ability, like knowledge of the bosses, like movesets and stuff. And not a lot of that comes with the way I've played the game. But this is what it looks like after 500 plus hours. And people are going to do this, like every single person will do this differently. But this is from my personal experience on the game. So what we are going to do is wrap that video up. If you are not currently subbed to the channel, make sure you do sub to notifications on. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. All support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to support me further as a creator, then check out the links in the description. That's going to do it for this one. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it.